My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today it is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We read from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 22 verses 34 to 40. We read as follows. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they came together and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and the first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. My dear brothers and sisters, every Jew learned the Shema by heart. That is, hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. It also came from the Pharisees' lips, but apparently it didn't reach their hearts. They knew a lot, but they didn't love much. Like them, many people forget that God didn't ask them to know Him with all their understanding, but to love Him with all their hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been given a limited capacity for understanding, but an almost unlimited capacity for loving. Not all of us can be wise, but we can all and should be lovers. All the commandments are just one, love. Spread the word. God is a beggar of love. He gives everything and the only reward he asks for is love. All the time that we spend without loving God is wasted. A priest found a gravestone in a cemetery with the inscription, Here lies so and so who died at the age of 90 but did not live more than three years. When he asked the meaning of it, they told him it belonged to a man who converted to the love of God when he was 87. So he wanted to leave written in the stone that only those years he spent loving God were the years he was alive. St. Jose Maria told a similar story. Visiting the Cathedral of Valencia, he came across the tomb of a venerable old priest. They explained to him that when the old priest was asked, how many years he had lived, he would reply with great conviction in his uh, Valencian dialect. Very few, very few. For, one, he, for he only considered worth mentioning the years he had spent in love with God. Mary, our mother, help us to make others understand that the time we spend without loving God is wasted. That life is not measured years but in intensity of love. Amen.